Hello, I'm lead instructor J.E. Henthorne with Box 1971, where our self-imposed mission is to change the culture of the fire service one fireman at a time. One way that we've been able to personally start to succeed at this self-imposed mission was that we partnered with the folks out of Illinois at Max Firebox. Can't say enough good things about the folks at Max Firebox. And if you would, I'd just like to take a moment of your time to maybe introduce you or familiarize you more in depth with the Max Firebox. The box itself is constructed out of high-grade military steel that is ceramic coated. This tool is engineered to last. It requires little to zero maintenance, and the exterior of the box has a shroud of diamond plate. This entire educational package that comes to you is second to none. You'll get fuel loads, the box, the stand, a door, a spray bottle. You'll also get a classroom presentation for your agency and a train the trainer that you or your agency can reference and use. But you'll get so much more, and for that information, you need to visit MaxFirebox.com. Max Firebox believes in burning and learning. As we look inside the Max Firebox, we see a few things. One thing you notice right away is all the wood. This is a pre-engineered, hand-selected fuel load. You might ask yourself, why is it engineered? Why is it hand-selected? And to that, the answer is simple. It's duplication of the conditions and consistency from burn to burn. You'll also notice that there's a piece of carpet, some Monopoly money, and a small fireman figurine. The carpet and the paper simply exist to show pyrolysis when that phenomena happens and occurs. And you'll notice the small fireman. What the fireman does is shows us how the thermal plane or how thermal balance or disruption can not only affect our working conditions, but how it can affect the potential victims inside. This tool is one of a kind. It's patent pending. And Box 1971 would personally make the recommendation to not to attempt to recreate the Max Firebox. If you are presently buying or building wooden dollhouses, you're simply wasting your time. The Max Firebox can replicate smoke and fire conditions multiple times over. A dollhouse is pretty much a one and done. The Max Firebox can reach 1500 degrees and show you flashover and smoke explosion multiple times over. A dollhouse simply cannot. The hours of your time wasted building a dollhouse is almost senseless when a tool of this caliber exists. If someone wants to see a certain phenomena or behavior reoccur, it is no problem with the Max Firebox. Not only is the Max Firebox an essential tool to show firemen the signs of an impeding event, but it can also be used in the public sector for public education, fire prevention, getting out with civic groups and talking to folks. This is a great educational tool that can be used outside the firehouse. This is something that people can learn from and see firsthand. Box 1971 believes that there are some misconceptions in the fire service today. One glaring misconception is that if someone watches a video, especially one that Max Firebox has put out online, that you're now somehow trained. This could not be further from the truth. Our brains work off of recognition prime decision making. Or, better yet, just what you've seen and what was the outcome. To be blunt, if you were to watch the Super Bowl, that certainly does not mean that you played in the NFL. You need to use all of your senses and witness things firsthand to see things in 3D, not just 2D. Max Firebox believes in empowering fire behavior education. And at Box 1971, we're proud to have Max Firebox as a partner. We encourage you to check back periodically for more educational tips. We also encourage you to reach out to maxfirebox.com and to get more information on this great tool that is being presently underutilized in the fire service.